Greetings, seekers of truth and wisdom. As we navigate the intricate pathways of human understanding, we often find ourselves at the crossroads of certainty and mystery. Our journey today will immerse us in the contemplative realm of one of the most influential philosophers of science, Sir Karl Popper. We're about to delve into a world where the boundaries between science and pseudoscience are not merely drawn, but fiercely debated. A world where the search for truth becomes a science in itself. Are you ready to explore this paradoxical, yet fascinating dimension? Then, let us journey together. Have you ever pondered what differentiates science from pseudoscience? Is it a clear-cut boundary or a blurry line? Can we determine the validity of a theory based solely on its scientific status? In the heart of our quest, we discover the concept of falsifiability, a cornerstone of Popper's philosophy. Popper proposed that a theory is scientific only if it is capable of being proven false. Falsifiability then becomes the demarcation line between science and pseudoscience, the boundary that separates empirical truth from conjecture. Popper's philosophy is a stark departure from the traditional inductive approach to science, which emphasizes the accumulation of evidence in support of a theory. Contrarily, Popper argues that no amount of positive evidence can ever truly verify a theory, for there always remains the possibility of an observation that could contradict it. Thus, the strength of a theory, according to Popper, lies not in its verification, but in its resistance to falsification. This view, however, is not without its adversaries. Some argue that Popper's falsification principle is too stringent, potentially discarding theories that, although not entirely falsifiable, still contribute valuable knowledge. Others maintain that science is not a binary entity, and that a spectrum exists between the certainties of science and the speculations of pseudoscience. The echoes of Popper's philosophy reverberate across the generations, influencing not only scientists but also philosophers, historians, and even artists. Thomas Kuhn, for instance, built upon and critiqued Popper's ideas in his seminal work, The Structure of Scientific Revolutions, introducing the concept of paradigm shifts in scientific thought. Similarly, artist Salvador Dali was reportedly influenced by Popper's theories, incorporating elements of uncertainty and contradiction into his surrealist masterpieces. In the realm of popular culture, the distinction between science and pseudoscience often blurs, contributing to a fascinating dialogue. Books like Michael Crichton's Jurassic Park and films like Christopher Nolan's Interstellar play with scientific theories, making them accessible while also challenging their boundaries. Music, too, often grapples with scientific themes, with artists like Bjork and Radiohead incorporating elements of uncertainty and exploration into their compositions. In contemporary discourse, the line between science and pseudoscience remains hotly contested. With the advent of the information age, the proliferation of theories, both scientific and pseudoscientific, has led to an increased need for discernment. Debates surrounding topics such as climate change, vaccination, and artificial intelligence highlight the ongoing struggle to distinguish between empirical truth and conjecture. As we stand at the forefront of the technological revolution, understanding the difference between science and pseudoscience becomes increasingly crucial. Not only does it guide our understanding of the world, but it also shapes our decisions, policies, and ultimately, our future. From our exploration, we gather that the journey of science is not a straight path to truth, but a labyrinth of uncertainties and challenges. As we tread this path, let us remember Popper's wisdom. In our quest for knowledge, we are not searching for certainty, but for less uncertainty. I want to express my deep gratitude for your engagement and intellectual curiosity. Your time and thoughtfulness add immeasurable value to our exploration. I leave you with some thoughts to ponder. How do you differentiate between science and pseudoscience? In an era of information overload, how can we ensure the credibility of the knowledge we consume? And how can we use Popper's philosophy to navigate the complexities of our rapidly evolving world? As we part ways today, 
I encourage you to continue this exploration, to challenge your perceptions, and to remain open to new insights. Until our next philosophical journey, stay curious and keep questioning. Remember, as we navigate the labyrinth of knowledge, every dead end is a new beginning, every question an opportunity to learn, and every answer a stepping stone to wisdom. Until we meet again on our next philosophical journey, stay ignited, stay inspired.